The Raspberry Foundation has released a new camera module and I bought two of them to make them available to you for photo experiments using nothing but a browser. The camera module, which is designed for high quality snapshots, ships without a lens, an appropriate optics must be screwed on the CS adapter. The Raspberry Foundation offers two variants. The smaller lens has a focal length of 6mm, the larger one of 16mm. In order to give you the opportunity to test these cameras remotely, I turned on my 3D printers to make parts for the needed mechanics. Five servos operate the moving parts, which are all controlled by a Raspberry Pi. Since two camera modules are installed, a second Raspberry Pi is also required. For the 16mm lens, the appropriate adapter ring must be fitted to the camera module, otherwise the distance to the image sensor is not correct and you will only get blurred pictures. This telephoto lens is operated via two servos, one of which controls the ring for the aperture... ...and the second servo is needed for focusing. The aperture is activated via the rear ring with a value of 1.4 at fully open... ...and 16 at the lower end. The focus is adjusted via the front ring and a minimum distance of 20cm to the target object is needed to get non-blurred results. If you want to get closer than these 20cm, you can unscrew a ring on the camera adapter to move the lens away from the image sensor. With the 6mm wide angle lens, only the aperture can be adjusted remotely via a servo. For focusing, the lens is adjusted by a fine pitch thread which requires several turns, while the ring for the aperture is also rotated. For the sake of simplicity, I decided not to build a suitable mechanism for activating both rings and adjusted the lens in such a way that objects with a minimal distance of about 80cm are in focus. Via a servo, the frame with the two cameras can be tilted up... ...or down. A second servo enables the cameras to be rotated left or right by a total of about 170 degrees. As you can see, the construction is a bit shaky, the mechanics needs a bit of improvement but works fine for the intended purpose because there are no stormy weather conditions in my robot room. A total of 42 LEDs can be switched in 4 levels to illuminate my robospatium. The transistors required to amplify the electrical power of the GPIOs are placed on an extra board. A step down converter reduces the 12V input voltage to 5V for the servos and the Raspberry Pis. The whole thing is controlled via a browser interface, here I use my smartphone. In the simplest case, you can rotate or tilt the cameras via control buttons to observe the robots or search for an interesting image section. The cameras are installed in the robot room on my attic and all the lumber there gives you the opportunity to take a photo of your choice. You can swap between the two cameras by clicking on a control button. While the 6mm lens gives you an overview, Details can be targeted with the 16mm lens. The windows in my attic are quite small, but in bright sunshine, all cameras deliver good results, while in low light conditions, the settings have to be correct. Through input fields, you can set pretty much all parameters that the Raspberry Still software can process, which gives you a lot of room for experiments around photography. Learn to understand what different settings for ISO, aperture, focus or exposure time means and see what quality the new Raspberry Pi camera module can deliver. If you like the preview, you can take a full resolution photo of 12 megapixels that is transmitted to my photo gallery where it can be viewed or downloaded. The user manual, including background information about all the options a good camera offers, is available on the control page. 
I also offer the build instructions including the 3D files of the mechanics as well as the circuit diagram for free download. No registration is needed to access the documentation, this camera or my robots, it's all free of charge, at least for you. If you want to support me in the operation and expansion of my remote control machines, feel free to click the donate button on my pages, many thanks to all existing backers. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!